The control module for the anti-lock braking system is a computer-like electronic device. The ABS control module processes data from the ABS sensors. The ECU uses the processed data to produce electronic information, ensuring that the system functions as it should. This system is in charge of processing the subsequent actions to ensure safety when the vehicle loses stability or traction. It can also assist in figuring out how much pressure should be applied to each wheel to stop it. The control module is effectively monitoring the braking frequency and the amount of braking pressure required. To prevent any slippage, it makes use of sensor data indicating how quickly the tires are rotating. The majority of cars have an engine compartment where the ABS control module is located. Some models, though, also have it on the frame rail on the driver's side. The vehicle may need to be raised in order to locate the ABS control module. It might also be hidden by plastic covers or panels. A solenoid block with several brake lines connected to it serves as the mounting point for the ABS control module. If you're unsure where this module is located, read the service manual. In this short video, we will talk about five symptoms of a bad ABS control module. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Warning light. All modern vehicles come equipped with an ABS dashboard light to alert you to any issues. One cause for the light to come on is a malfunctioning ABS control module. The ABS symbol is illuminated in amber on more recent models. However, older models lack this specific light and may instead use the check engine light. When the ABS light comes on, the system may completely stop working. Even though the ABS is a necessary safety feature designed to safeguard you, you shouldn't drive without it. Increased braking effort. The brake pedal should still stop you when you depress it. The effort required to stop, though, might become more obvious. As time passes, you might notice that applying the brakes to your car requires more force. Have the system checked if it seems like your legs are getting a workout every time you need to stop. Locking wheels. When traction is lost, the ABS control module prevents the wheels from locking up. The information required to prevent the wheels from locking, however, is inaccurate because this component fails. When traction is lost, the ABS control module may be to blame if your wheels start to lock up. Usually, it takes slamming on the brakes to alert you to the issue. Otherwise, if the wheel keeps locking up, it might be a jammed brake caliper. Inaccurate speedometer readings. When the ABS control module malfunctions, the speedometer may occasionally stop working properly. This is not a frequent occurrence, but it is possible. The speedometer will either display zero miles per hour or the incorrect speed. Usually, this symptom appears along with the check engine or ABS light turning on. Unresponsive brake pedal. You want to be sure that the car will stop when you press the brake pedal. But a defective ABS control module can make stopping more challenging. You might initially notice the heightened braking effort mentioned above. This effort will intensify over time and may even result in complete loss of brake pedal function. Make sure to conduct a thorough system inspection as low brake fluid levels can also be the root of this problem. To make sure there is no air in the lines, you may want to think about having the brake fluid system flushed. ABS control module replacement cost. Depending on the car model and labor costs, the average cost of replacing an ABS control module ranges from $200 to $1,500. You won't pay for labor if you perform the replacement yourself. Otherwise, depending on how accessible the module is, professional fees could range from $80 to $300. Since the braking system can be finicky, it makes sense for many amateur mechanics to have a professional replace the ABS control module. The issue is that you frequently need specialized diagnostic tools, some of which may only be available at the dealership, to code or reprogram the new control unit. Hope the information was useful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.